Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Clipped Experience with this channel. We are starting this wonderful series about the magical properties of herbs, how we utilize herbs in our spell work, part of our daily lives. So if you come into this channel and if you're coming for various reasons, maybe doing services with me, a current practitioner, a beginner, a band, somewhere in the middle, in between, we have a great series that we're starting here. And the next one is on needle leaf, which is today's topic, on needle leaf. And as a practitioner, you would like to carry a certain amount of herbs in your, which usually they're located in your pantry already. You may already have some um, as well. You may have a small apothecary in your altar section or where you do your practice at um, and carrying it right in your home. So we have needle leaf and I want to show you needle leaf. It is green, it comes from a yellow flower. Um, as you can see, it's very dark and green and it does have a light earthy like smell. It's, it's, oh, it smells so good. If you like earthy smells, which I do. It's got this dark greenery smell, you know, to it. And it's something that we keep all the time to have. Needle leaf is something that you want to have in your pantry or in your, you can call it your apothecary, whatever way you would like to call it that. So let me explain to you that needle leaf overhead, as far as this planet, the planet that oversees needle leaf is Mars, is Mars. And the element that oversees needle leaf is fire, okay, it's fire. Now needle leaf is a strong magical planet which often is used for protection. If you feel like you've been hexed or carrying, you can carry a satchel of dried needle leaf, it, it is there to remove and repel the hex. Also, you wanna harness the magical properties of needle by sprinkling dried needle around your home. This will keep all uh, malevolent, malevolent, malevolent <laughs> influences and energies out of your home and send them back to where they came from while also um, filling your home with this gentle, loving vibration. It gives it a wonderful vibration. You want to throw a needle also into your fire in order to avert any imminent danger you might feel threatened or that is threatening you, okay? And this can be for the novice or non-practitioner. Use it for your protection. It's stuff that we have in the mundane. This will also keep the malevolent um, spirits away. You can make an amulet out of it with needle and yara, which is another herb, we'll talk about that coming up, to keep fear at bay. This is great if you have a, a presentation or public speaking something also. So if you do any public speaking, any presentation, this is good to keep on you as an amulet. This amulet will also keep negativity away from you. You want to keep in, you can keep fresh cut needles in the home. It will keep sickness out and will bring healing energies to anyone who may be sick around you. Obviously, you don't want to forego a trip with your primary care doctor. I'm not uh, for purposes of protection, protecting myself in the video. I'm not saying this protects you from normal um, care or any frame like that. But this is something to in, to help, okay? And you take heed to this knowledge and apply it with your own common sense, all right? Magic and herbal treatments should always be used in conjunction with, if you're going to go that route with medical professionals and getting advice and, and not absolutely um, shunning herb or medicinal through um circular practices, but again, using your common sense. Needle will help you to release any lingering doubts and stress while giving you a nurturing energy if you are beginning a new project. This is a great time when using it for manifesting new projects, adding it to your spiritual work or your 
uh, spell work or ritual work. It helps to give you courage um, and to show you your own wealth. You can drink needle tea as well. It is drinkable to use this magical properties of needles. This will also help you to open up limited ways of thinking if you feel stuck in a rut. Needle can be used to induce lust as well. If you need a strong, strongly purified bath, add needle as it is one of the strongest magical purifiers out there. I do tend to where I'm guided to add needle to baths that I do make for others. Uh, depending on what moon I'm working on the need and what I'm guided to do. You can wrap needle in green or yellow or purple cloth and place it in your wallet or your purse to attract abundance. Um, other magical properties of needle is courage, healing, protection, binding, banishing, lust, love, abundance, inner strength. Okay, Some of the magical associations of deities is Thor, Loki, uh, Cernurus, and Hades. And Cernurus, I'll spell that for you, and I can put that in the comments section down below, is C-E-R-N-U-N-N-O-S, and Hades, Loki, or Thor. And also the magical correspondence of Needle, the Zodiac is Aries, we would know that with this Mars, Scorpio, and Libra. Planet, I already stated, is Mars. Element is fire. It's a masculine energy. Needle is. And the crystals to combine is black obsidian, timberline, or tourmaline, and turquoise. You can add those three crystals in or pick one. So, to my tribe here at Ecliptic Spiritualist Channel, I hope this, this is giving you um, everything you will be looking for or interested in adding herbs to your practice, to your apothecary, and looking through your pantry to see if you have needle leaf in. Um, I will be giving you some additional information with combining bringing this series of herbs to the channel, as well as us talking about herbs in our master classes as well. So, in saying that, you may contact me for a personal psychic therapeutic readings you can contact me for spiritual guidance spiritual consultation business spiritual consultations as well you can also contact me for spell working uh, master classes um, in the um, defense magic arts and non-traditional arts of magic modern spirituality we do have a a coven that is located on our patreon account which is called the north node tribe you can give donations to there to contribute to this channel, or you see the heart shape here on YouTube, if you watch it on YouTube and not on another social platform, where you can give thanks to us by giving a tip to the channel, okay? So we do offer metaphysical supplies, bi-weekly altar vigils here, as well as a live, which I mentioned, a live Zoom classes on Saturdays. We do do coaching. We offer a lot of services that will help you on your spiritual journey, your spiritual path. I do have clientele that I've been working with for years in ritual work and so much more. So I love you for watching today. Enjoy this series. Enjoy Needles. I hope that enlightened you. Continue to dive deep and grow in your spiritual practice or contact me for work as well. I love you for watching today. See you next time. Bye-bye.